Uh, let's go straight to the newsmaker of the moment or one of the newsmakers of the moment, Subramaniam Swami of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Dr. Swami, appreciate you joining us. The Congress is saying that this is a defeat of Subramaniam Swami, that he's been running this vendetta. And today the court has told him very clearly that you cannot, for example, seize the passports of the Gandhis by claiming that they will run away from the country. That argument of yours was dismissed. Today is a setback for you. How do you respond? Well, first of all, ask them to answer why they were for the last 10 days saying that they will not accept bail, they will go to jail and do a satyagraha, all that. And why did they come so meekly and present the bail? I didn't oppose their bail. They uh, took, uh, they said they will not uh, post a bond. They posted a bond, 50,000 rupees. They named the person who will be surety mm -hmm. uh, for uh, A.K. Anthony, for Sonia Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi, for Rahul Gandhi, etc. So when they had, uh, I had said that they, were, they have a tendency to run away abroad and disappear without a trace. So there should be a, they should take your permission. He said that they are very important people. I don't think they will do that. So then I didn't press any further. So, so to that they extent, rejected it. So, I mean, so to that limited extent, to that limited like. extent, would you say that your, you, you've always maintained that they will run away from the law? The court doesn't seem to have accepted that argument of yours at all. To that extent, do you see that as but a setback, you or you believe all? this was mere your, procedure today? Listen, you have a bad habit. You have a bad habit of being judgmental. What do you mean at all? What did they say? Is they are uh, important people? They will not do such a thing. So, mm -hmm. Well, if they do such a thing, then I can go back to the court. This mm -hmm. is not the final. So, in a, in a sense, are you saying today was round one, act one, or scene one, act one, and the merits of the case will now be debated only after the twentieth of February? On the 20th of February, at a date fixed at their request. And, and will that involve an exemption for the Gandhis? Because that's not clear. The other side seems no, to no, suggest they, they did not, not they, apply they, for they, it today. They, they, uh, liars. They spoke about it and he said, no, no. Are so you saying, are you saying the Congress... No, no, hold on. You are saying, because Kapil Sibal gave us a different... You are saying that the Congress wanted exemption for the Gandhis in court and it was rejected. Is that what you are claiming? Yes. That is what they said. We the want Congress the denies it. He said no. So, well, of course they'll deny it. You believe the Congress? No problem. Uh, that might be your inclination. It's not my inclination, Dr. Swami. I, uh, my job as a journalist then is to you ask questions. Congress, you told me what? You told me what? No, no. You told me this is what the uh, uh, Congress said. I say exemption. I told you. Then he said, but this is not what Congress says. Hmm. How am I responsible for what the Congress says? Okay. Now you tell me, Dr. Swami, what happens next in this case? As far as you are concerned, what happens next? Next, uh, I, in the next occasion, I have to lead arguments. Mm -hmm. Then they will have a chance to cross-examine me and my witnesses. Mm -hmm. Then the court uh, will uh, take a call and uh, frame charges. Then the trial will start. Mm -hmm. At that time, again, the question will be whether they should be in jail or outside or whether they'll have to be given bail. Let me ask you though, today the Congress interestingly has suggested or drawn an equation between you being granted a VIP bungalow in Latians Delhi with the Gandhis coming to court saying this is reward by the Narendra Modi <laughs> government for Subramaniam Swami. How do you respond to that? Well, first of all, let me tell you that the Z security was first given to me by Narsimha Rao. Mm -hmm. uh, in the, Mr. Vajpayee had downgraded it to only one state, namely Tamil Nadu. And then during the UPA period, it was extended to from Tamil Nadu to uh, Karnataka and Hyderabad mm -hmm. and Andhra. And after Narendra Modi came back, uh, the Mr. Rajnath Singh uh, reviewed the matter and uh, uh, decided that the old Narsimha Rao's uh, order should be restored. Mm -hmm. And then the CRP said, now he lives, previously I used to live in Sabdajang Road. So now the CRP said he lives in too small a house, we can't stay there. So we can't take charge unless he gets a government bungalow. And it was the CRP's uh, recommendation, which I endorsed, which I, I said I would, uh, I would accept uh, this because I have to pay rent, by the way. So and it's so only a happy the, the coincidence. Acted, I mean, the uh, company. Act. So it's only a happy well, coincidence. Well, yeah, the timing of it. The, I think, I know that it was. I think it submitted to the, uh, to the. Uh, it was submitted to the uh, uh, cabinet committee on accommodation before right. uh, the high court gave the order. The other charge which the Congress made today, they made it in the past, is about the about your letter to the Prime Minister 
asking that Mr. Katoch of the Enforcement Directorate, who had allegedly, according to the Congress, ordered a closure of the National Herald case, that you uh, insisted that he not be given an extension and the case be reopened. This is the other charge they made again against you See, today. The problem is, yeah, they have gone telling lies and you gone recycling it. I want them to produce, I want them to produce the uh, order where, uh, where the uh, uh, FIR was registered by the Enforcement Directorate. And I want you to produce the order by which he has uh, closed the case. There is no such order either. So far, they have not produced any order. They have gone recycling these lies and you keep recycling it back to me. No, no, I am not recycling it. I am telling you what the Congress said. I am just oh, asking. I got, uh, what, what, how many times am I going to answer? I answered you in the last interview. Yes. That what the facts are. So why do you... had got four extensions. Why do you think the Congress is still... You got four extensions. Why is the Congress targeting Congress you beat on a bungalow or the ED case? Well, they, because uh, there's nobody else uh, who is giving them a hard time like me. You know, they, all of your view are softies. <laughs> they also said, uh, doctors, uh, no, are those softies in your own party also, some of them? Of course they are. They are softies in my party, but they are being slowly sidelined. The softies are being sidelined? You want to tell us who these softies are who are being sidelined in your own party? No, I, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I, I'll tell you in due course, don't worry. Dr. I did Swap tell you about... Uh, Yes. Dr. Swami, so Sonia Gandhi today said that this vendetta against the Gandhis has been going on for decades. That this is not new for, for yes. generations. That generations the Gandhis have been yes. targeted, they will continue to fight back. How do you respond? Well, two, two ways to respond. It. First is that as far as Rajiv, as Rajiv Gandhi was concerned, I never had a vendetta against him. Mm -hmm. He and I were damn good friends. In fact, we together entered into a coalition and created Chandrasekhar's government. Mm -hmm. So that, that fact is uh, not correct that uh, generations. Yes, Sonia Gandhi after her, uh, her uh, betrayal in 1999 of what the agreement that all parties had reached about replacing the BJP government with an alternative mm -hmm. government. Uh, from that time onwards I felt that this, uh, this lady has a betrayer, uh, is a betrayer. And then slowly started investigating why she is doing all these things and soon found out all her uh, misdeeds. Now, there, after that, I have been consistently against her. That fact is true. But the important part is mm -hmm. that in the court they raised this issue before the, uh, they, uh, before the uh, High Court. And the High Court uh, said that this is irrelevant. So yours It is because there is a Supreme Court judgment as far back as 1992. The Bajanlal case, where they have classy, clearly stated vendetta doesn't matter, malice doesn't matter. What matters are the facts. The facts are strong and therefore they rejected the idea. So you are saying vendetta doesn't matter, malice doesn't matter, the facts of the case matter. So for, as far as you are concerned, you are not backing down, you are not going anywhere. You don't accept this today as a setback of any sort. Your smile seems to suggest that you believe that you, the battle has just begun. Of course, it was. Uh, I, I got whatever I wanted. What did you Except get? That they on the question of uh, what did I, you I get? Got, well, they said they won't take bail. I, well, I'll tell you what I got. They said they won't take bail. Mm -hmm. I said they will either take bail or go to jail. They took bail. They said they won't fill a bond. They filled a bond meekly, fifty thousand. The only thing I didn't get is immediately uh, orders uh, asking them to deposit their passport. I may get it later. Are you going to still push for that? Certainly, if they start disappearing from the country. No, no, one minute. They, they haven't disappeared anyway. You know, they, 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 Dr. Swami. Oh, come have on. You, 57 days. 57 you, days. Uh, Rahul Gandhi disappeared. You didn't know where he was. Mm -hmm. have, you, have you at any stage raised, and, raised any of these issues yes. with the Prime Minister? This case, at, at any stage, have you discussed it with anyone senior in the BJP? Did I not answer this in your last interview? Let me answer it once more. Please don't ask me again. I have never gone and met the Prime Minister and discussed National Herald with him. Never? I meet him quite often here and there. Never discussed National Herald with him. Has he tried to, has he asked you uh, about the case at any stage? No. Has anyone senior, in, word. have you confided with anyone senior in the BJP or the RSS about your strategy in this case? Listen, I know all these people from a long time. Some of them have worked under me when I was youth, youth, Yuva Janata president, 
Janta Yuva Morcha president. Right. I joined Jansang in 1970. They are many of them are my juniors. Mm -hmm. They are ministers today. I run into them. I have long conversations with them. Mm -hmm. Obviously, uh, it would be not for asking guidance. It will right. be just surprising them what is going on. I'll take orders from nobody. You know that. I'm going to ask you, therefore, in conclusion, Dr. Swami, is this National Herald yeah. case now going to continue drag on for year after year, tariq after tariq, and you intend to hold it like some kind <laughs> of a noose around the necks of the Gandhi? That the idea is to keep the pot boiling. <laughs> Listen, today I was ready to argue the matter in January. It is they who said February. Mm -hmm. First we agreed on February 13th, then uh, Kapil Sibal said, no, make it 20th. I said, I won't agree. Then he said, please allow it to be on 20th. So I said, Kapil Sibal says, please, I will not say no. So I agreed, the whole court laughed. I hope you also laugh. <laughs> Dr. Swami, in your smiles lurks, some would say, an impish character. Many say that the BJP is making a huge mistake by putting all its eggs in your basket. Others say, make sure of the fact that it could be Swami who will have the last laugh. The saying in Delhi, Dr. Swami, is this, <laughs> that you may not want Dr. Swami as your friend, but you certainly don't want him as your enemy. Is that a fair statement? Yes, that, that's a fair statement. I, I, <laughs> friends only those who I have high regard for. Okay. I can't be friends with criminals. And that but includes uh, any criminal gets on, uh, gets on the wrong side of me, he's had it. Be it in your own party or the opposition? <laughs> Anywhere. I have, after all, Ram Krishna Hegde, you remember? Yeah. I brought him down. Okay. He was my party chief minister. Dr. Swami, I think you've said enough in this interview to indicate that you're still ready for the battle and your smile suggests you're all set to move to your new bungalow. Next time, perhaps that's where we'll have to interview you. <laughs> But let's leave it I, there. I, I, I'll invite you for tea, don't worry. Okay. Chai pe charcha is what we'll have with Dr. Swami. Thank you Chai. very much. Chai Subramaniam Chai. Swami joining us there on Bye. a day where his smile clearly indicates that he hasn't given up this battle. Let's take a break. Final comments from all our panelists on what's been this big news day. The Gandhis have come in court all over in five minutes. Back in a moment.